People of Earth, good evening. We are February 12, 2024. Here are the developments on the current galactic events impacting the future of Earth as a planetary civilization. And I am delighted to welcome you for this 17th episode of Star Nation News. This week, we have a closer look into a particular star system known to Earth as Altair, where a local collective of cultures has been interfering with Earth since the late 1940s. Visible from Earth in the Eagle constellation, or Aquila, Altair is a star in the constellation of Aquila, 16 light years away from Terra. It's not that far. It's the neighborhood of Terra or Earth. And it is named locally Al Korin. The Altair star system includes many races with mixed intentions. And among them, we find different species of reptilians, mainly related to the Sikar Empire. Humanoids, tall blondes, orange skin and other races, and greys with also mixed intentions. So the Altair system is the headquarters for different organizations. First, a reptilian collective known as the Corporate maintain ambiguous ties with the Ashtar collective of Sirius B and the Sikar Empire. These collaborate also with the Humanoid Alliance or Corporate of Altair. The Achori Humanoids from the fourth planet, the Nebu and a Terran military presence as a secret space program colony. Also, it is good to know that the Alliance of the Six was represented in Altair by detachments of Mitra, Kilitokyut, and Zetar Zorog until the Nebu Empire collapsed and the Alliance of the Six fell apart consequently. An interesting fact also is in order to avoid hazardous infiltrations, none of the Altairian cultures have an ever been allowed access to the Envoy programs. Among a mixed group of other species, Achoria, the fourth planet, is also inhabited by this blonde humanoid race, the Achori. They are a predominant culture in the Altairian system or Alcorin system. And their civilization, which uh, head of the, the government is based on Achoria, the fourth planet, has also spread to the second and the third planets of the system. Achori can be labeled as Nordics and are often mistaken for Telosi or even Pleiadians. When I say Telosi, it's Alpha Centaurians. For they may look alike but have nothing in common, nothing to do with them. It's very confusing. They are part of an organization local to the Altair system called the Humanoid Corporate of Altair or Alcorin. It's a small group affiliated to the Galactic Federation of Worlds. However, however, they are regularly causing diplomatic difficulties. They are not considered trustworthy and are a regular source of tensions. They used to cooperate with the Kili Talker through dodgy slave trade agreements at a time when the nefarious alliance of the Six was at the height of its power, before the Nebu Empire collapsed, of course. Ahori also used to be heavily involved in abductions for interbreeding programs with Earth humans. In cooperation 
with the Deep State Earth Military MyLab programs and the Nibu. Regarding these agendas, the Ahori allied also with the Jahaya, Alcyon, Tal Shiar, and their Sikar acolytes involved with the Dark Fleet and the Fourth Reich in Antarctica. A complicated web of unclear agreements stands around the Ahori. It is never easy when it comes to them. Not yet official members of the Galactic Federation of Worlds, but affiliated to them diplomatically. It allows the Ahori to navigate between empires for games of personal profits and interest. That is the reason why the Galactic Federation of Worlds built an outpost on Ahora, the second planet of this system, to monitor what is going on there. Ahorat is the second planet of the Altair system, and the residents of this world differentiate themselves by the name of Tahori, and also by separate choices regarding associating with other organizations. The, Th the Tahori are, contrary to their Ahori neighbors from the fourth planet, a peaceful spacefaring culture. The Tahori proudly standing as an individual planetary culture are full members of the Galactic Federation of Worlds. The Takori declined all offers from, for protection from the Ahori's associates, such as the Sikar Empire, the Dark Fleet, the Nebu, and the Alcyon Tal Shiar. In response, they welcomed a military outpost of the Galactic Federation of Worlds on their planet. It is not worth mentioning, of course, that the two cultures, Tahori and Ahori, nourish territorial tensions and in their relationships. The Galactic Federation of Worlds advanced outposts on Ahorat has for role to protect the, the delimitation of safety zone in that star system. The governor of this particular colony, a former military officer of the Galactic Federation of Worlds, has accepted to give us an interesting update on the situation in the Ahorin star system regarding the Sikar war now raging through the galaxy and igniting planetary rebellions on its path. Valorian Naik Oyoran, former officer detached in the stall system for the Galactic Federation of Worlds and a close childhood friend of mine, I have to say, received clearance from the High Command of the Galactic Federation of Worlds to communicate with me. Transferred in November 2021 in the Alcorin Star System after he was dismissed from his position of officer on board the Excelsior battleship in Orbit of Earth, Valnek Oyoran wasn't allowed to communicate with Earth following an incident that occurred in October 2021. However, upon my request, Excelsior High Commander Jor Hell authorized clearance for a relayed communication through the Central Command. Here is following a report from Kahal Colony Governor Valnek on Ahora. I salute the people of Terra who will hear this message. I have been away so long from this blue planet I used to hold in my heart, working as a pilot for a large number of years in its orbit and then taking the responsibility of commander in charge of material transfer operations 
Port Terrazzo were precious years in my long life. I was finally allowed to disclose the location where I was assigned three years ago in the position of colony governor. These three years have been an interesting experience in the Alcorin system, interacting with the diverse organizations and witness their collapse. All of this was foreseen for a good while, as the Alcorin Humanoid Corporate progressively lost power when their Nebu allies fell. On Ahorat, where I am based, it was great rejoicing, for the corporate had been causing trouble for years here. The colony I manage is an outpost of the Galactic Federation of Worlds and is composed mainly of Tashkeru, Ahil, Tali and Kahil. As to speak in your terms, people from the Stellar Systems, Sirius B, Taigeta and Epsilon Eridani. The humanoid corporate began to see rebellion groups spring up as a result of the fall of the Nebu Empire. The dissolution of the Alliance of the Six caused a wave of panic here. As at first, we didn't know whether the humanoid corporate would withdraw and dissolve, or whether they would decide to move on to an offensive against the other planets in the system in order to quell any potential rebellion. It is important to understand that the Alcorin Humanoid Corporate has grown rich through commercial contracts for the exploitation of natural resources on the Alcorin worlds. When the Stemis IV conflict developed into a galaxy-wide conflagration. The Alcorin Humanoid Corporate immediately withdrew its assets from all their advanced positions in this star system. What interests you are the agreements made between the Alcorin Humanoid Corporate, the Nachtwaffen, and the US Air Force Space Program. This Terran secret space program sent soldiers to their remote camp on planet Ahoria, the headquarters for the humanoid corporate, as part of a trade agreement. The Alcorin corporate would be allowed to conduct human abductions on Terra for galactic trading purposes, in exchange for territories on Ahoria and a membership in the corporate with interesting profits on the Alcorin resource trade. Many Ahori were participants in the underground military abduction programs on Terra and hybridization operations for the account of the Alliance of the Six and the Nebu. Since the war in the Soul system was over, after the liberation of Terra, from the Alliance of the Sixth Occupation. All Ahori who survived the underground military liberation operations from the Earth Alliance left Terra to go back to Ahoria. Marhat, the fifth planet of the Alcorin star system, has been hosting for a very long time another nefarious collective, part of the bigger Alcorin Corporate. The Marhat Collective is composed of Ahori, Nebu, Tal Shiar, Hili Tokert, Sikar, Hangyar from Sigma Draconis, Terran Dark Space Programs, and the Nachtwaffen Dark Fleet. Since the fall of the Nebu Empire, the Orion Greys withdrew from the deal. But we must keep in mind that all the other protagonists of the Marhat Collective remained. 
The Dark Fleet may have been expelled from your soul system, but they are still effective in this galactic sector, relating to their Aldebaran headquarters. And the Morkat Collective includes one of their detachments. Terran dark space programs also still have an outpost on Marhat as part of this group. The planetary zone of Marhat is locked from the rest of the star system, except for a corridor with Ahoria and a corridor to exit the plasma shield of this star system. Oh yes, you are having a now a better understanding on how inextricate and mind-boggling is the diplomatic situation in Altair. A plasma torpedo ready to blow up. So, my position is to hold strong and affirm the power of the Federation in the Alcorin system. A fabulous task I am proud to perform as it involves much more responsibilities than those I had in the Soul System. I have clearance to keep you updated with the situation here, with two major questions. What will become of the Alcorin Humanoid Corporate, and will the Marhat Collective dissolve with the fall of the Sikar Empire? I am Governor Oyoran reporting for the Galactic Federation of Worlds, and I salute you. Well, there's a lot to un unfold from this message from Governor Valnek Oyoran from the Alcorin Star System. Um, so many different groups and corporates and collectives in this star system it's absolutely incredible. There are so many cultures, so many races, um, and going over all these races and culture would be adding too much to the understanding, the basic understanding of the situation there, which is already in itself quite inextricate, to take Valnek's words, to de depict and to, to understand. So globally, there are, there's a big, big corporate. It's a humanoid corporate that's led by the Ahori, which are, which are um, human Nordic type um, people from the fourth planet, Ahoria. And it's a corporate collective. So they do business, they trade, and they unscrupulous doing alliance with whoever is the most interesting deal. The humanoid corporate of Alcorin, which is the name of the star system, Altair, has been uh, making accords and ties with the Sikar Empire, the Nebu, the Alliance of the Six, let's say the Alliance of the Six, which included the Nebu and the Sikar Empire. The Alliance of the Six, I can remind you, was an alliance created by the Nebu, an alliance of interest, and power between uh, so the Nebu, Sikar Empire, you had the Kiloto Kurt, the Maitra, the Cygnus Solipsirai, and the Zeta Reticuli, Small Grey or Xerog. Well, all these people have been dismantled, this alliance has been dismantled, and only the Kiloto Kurt are um, getting out positively from, from this and uh, bouncing back because the Kilito Kurt are traders in the soul. And uh, we've covered uh, the topic of the Kilito Kurt in a previous episode of Star Nation News. Uh, they decided to go solo and not associate with anyone and um, repair their, their losses after the, the bad choices to ally with the Nebu and the Sikar. Now the Sikar, so they're definitely uh, going solo and not getting involved in any um, conflict in the galaxy. They need to get back on their feet uh, financially, commercially, and that's what they're focusing on at the moment. So Kili Tokurt um, learned their lessons and they're bouncing back. That's good. Uh, regarding the 
two things. Uh, it's interesting. So the 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 humanoid extraterrestrial Altair cooperate is including a cell within it, which is the Marhat corporate from the fifth planet of this system. And the Marhat corporate, <laughs> sorry, the Marhat corporate um, includes two interesting Earth cells. First is US Air Force driven dark secret space program that has established a colony for a long time on in the, the Alcorin star system on Ahoria and on Marhat. And also the Dark Fleet. The Dark Fleet, you know, they have the headquarters in Aldebaran star system. And they their branch, Earth branch, which was the founding branch, founder branch, had been totally destroyed and expelled from the solar system. But the Dark Fleet still exists. The Nachtwaffen is still a thing. And um, so the thing is, all, all of these, these associations are collapsing. They're all collapsing. And everybody's going solo and thinking about doing new alliances. The new alliances preferably are made with the, the victorious, the winners, and uh, the most powerful uh, structures, which are at the moment now the Galactic Federation of Worlds. So everyone wants to join the Galactic Federation of Worlds or either go solo and be forgotten from everyone. Um, especially from the Sikar Empire. Breaking ties with the Sikar Empire. You know, the Sikar are very proud. So uh, it's not, you know, it's brave. I mean, what the Tal Shiar did, breaking from them was very brave and really fair play to them, fair play to them. Let's go back to Altair. So, the Marhat Collective, which is more a warlike uh, collective of interest, is slowly falling apart because their big allies, the Sikar and the Nebu, are gone. Well, the Sikar are still there, but they are taking a hey by the Federation. It's quite impressive. Um, and uh, as I say, as the war progresses, war against the Sikar Empire progresses in the galaxy, it leaves a trail of insurrection and red planetary rebellions, which is fantastic. Uh, Nataru is empowering uh, itself, you know? And what's happening at a, a level, uh, in at this level, galactic level for this Nataru galaxy is happening on a fractal level on many worlds, such as Earth as well, you know? So you're gonna ask, but, We've forgotten about the Nachtwaffen, the Dark Fleet. They had ties with the Sikar Empire. So what are they becoming in this war? So at the moment, the Dark Fleet hasn't taken side with the Sikar Empire. The Nachtwaffen is um, a war-based structure. It's like the Roman Empire of space. They're going to go with the most powerful. They're going to turn their back to the, the weak one, weaker ones. You remember when the, the Antarctica Dark Fleet was expelled from Earth and from the star system, they could not go back to Aldebaran because Aldebaran stated, we cut an infected limb. I remember that very clearly. And so there is an understanding that the Nachtwaffen is cutting ties with the Sikar Empire, who is going to be at loss. And they don't want to get involved against uh, in a war against the Federation, the Intergalactic Confederation. The Negumak, <laughs> the Negumak really weighed in a balance, galactic balance in this, this, in this conflict, this situation. So there's no obvious reason why the Nachtwaffen would take side with the Sikar. For the moment, they have unpronounced and they are keeping their ground and probably will want to strengthen their empire themselves and go with the, the most offering, you know? They build their empire on trade. So let's see what happens. For the moment, the focus is on uh, 
the Seeker Empire. That's a focus for the moment. And even the Nachtwaffen has their eyes on this conflict, waiting to take a decision and go with the winners and the most offering. Well, knowing the position of the Galactic Federation of Worlds, there is no way the Dark Fleet will be one day member of the Federation. There is absolutely no chance. That's a fact. That's a fact. So they'll probably go solo. And um, the future is exciting. What's going to happen, we don't know yet. Because the whole timeline of the galaxy has shifted. And we are now walking towards the unknown progressive future that is yet to be built. So, beloved Terran friends, I am sure we will uh, meet again with uh, Governor uh, Valneko Yoran in uh, further broadcast. And till, to, till then, I wish you a great week and raise your frequency.